Hey guys, so I rearranged Baby Bell's decorations, changed his setup just a little bit as a form of enrichment. People wonder how do you, uh, you know, kind of play or have fun with your pet leopard gecko and you know, this is one of the things that you do. You just kind of move everything around and uh, I also changed his substrate, of course, that's why it looks really damp. So if you can't see, I've got the humidifier there. It's currently 72% humidity. You wanna keep that down to 40, so it's gonna dehumidify on its own because I've got proper ventilation in my room and whatnot. And then the temperature in the warm hide looks like it's 86 right now. It's probably gonna start warming up. It's just like that because of all the water. So yeah, I moved before, like I just moved everything around. I got some new rocks for him. So this is a rock I got from Montenegro. That's the water bowl. I gotta fill that. Those are, those plants back there, they were supposed to be aquatic plants. I got them from uh, Petland Discount and they sold them as aquatic plants. Like they were in the fish tank. And I put them in my fish tank with turtle and they just weren't doing well. They weren't adapting to, he just fell down. They weren't adapting to the, uh, to being underwater. So what I did is I said, okay, research it. Turns out they're not underwater plants. So I put them in here and they've been doing really well. They've been like sprouting and growing as you can see. Um, but yeah, I've got some driftwood there. I've got an oak hide that's gonna act as both the humid and cold hide. He's exploring so much right now. He's like trying to climb up the plants and whatnot. I know he's not like freaking out because a sign that they're freaking out is when they start like sprawling on the glass like they're trying to climb out. He's he's not doing that. He's literally just exploring. Uh, I wish I could do something about the wires. I'll probably like maybe try and hide them better because I don't want him to get tangled in that. I don't want him to like yank that down, but like see, he's he's literally climbing up. I gave him more vertical this time because I usually keep it flat and keep it long, like how the tank is. But this time I got I, like I gave him more vertical, so he has more things to climb on top of, which is why I stacked the wood like that. And there's like stones behind this warm hide that he's also climbing up. So like right there, there's also another little thing. That one's like a little birch hide. I think he's trying to climb up on that. Oh yeah, he's on it. <laughs> Look at him go. He's just exploring. That's just adorable. Actually, he might be stuck behind, is he stuck behind the wire? Oh no, there he goes. He's figuring it out, he's fine. Oh, it's hard to beat that smile on his face. Look at him. He's like, thanks dad, this is so fun. It's very cute, very adorbs. But, yeah. So that's essentially how you would play with your leopard gecko. You uh, you move things around. You don't have to clean the substrate to play with him. I just did that because it was time. Um, but you move things around. You add like different decorations. I've even tried like swapping decorations out. So one time I'll like have a rock in there, and then the other time I'll just take it out and then like leave like that for like a month. And then I would wash the rock to try and wash all the scent off, and then put like put the rock back in so that he can rescent it. Like, look at him right now. He is ecstatic. Another thing I also did is I usually have, um, like, my bird perch up here for my pet bird. But my pet bird died. So now he's got all of this to look through. And I think that's what he's also doing, too. He's, like, seeing the ceiling a lot more. And it's, like, confusing him. Because he's probably used to having the perch up here blocking, like, his field of view. Or his point of view from the ceiling but now i could see it there you go it's my uh my little pet dinosaur so yeah the more you know um did he knock down the humidifier no he didn't he put it back there okay so in conclusion keep humidity down to 40 percent keep temperatures anywhere from like 70 to 90 uh clean your substrate when it's dirty so you see no poop to uh, put in the warm hide. If you're using a heat mat on the bottom, which is what I'm doing, use slate. You can kind of see that there's slate in there. So I put slate, have two kinds of hides, a warm hide and a cold slash humid hide, cold slash wet hide, people call it. Sometimes you have three kinds of hides and that's basically just the cold hide and then the humid hide. I use the cold 
with the human hide, like one hide for the same purpose because it, it just works. Um, and yeah, rocks for basking areas to play, just move decorations around, take decorations out, put decorations back in, and they just explore all over. So he's sticking his tongue out, he's scenting the area right now, smelling all that nice clean scents, all the things that he can mark. <laughs> Looks great, man. I'm, I'm so happy for him. I forgot to talk about the plant. The plant's fake, so don't worry about him eating it or anything like that. 